Hello and you're watching an SEO content machine tutorial next video and today I'm going to cover how you can use the new RSS feed downloader. If you go to scrapers, RSS, click on new RSS scraper and that brings you to the RSS scraper tool. So the first thing you're going to need is an RSS feed. Here's one I prepared earlier. It's gamespot.com. You can use this box to paste in as many RSS feeds as you want. I'm going to stick the list to only one URL for this example. Now the next decision you have to make is how many RSS feed items you want to download. By default it's set to 10. Some RSS feeds carry a lot of items in them, maybe 100, 200 items. You don't necessarily want to download everything in one go, so you can take just the top 10 newest items and this is where you will set that variable in this box here. The next thing you have is your save location. And you notice that there are some macros at the bottom here. Anytime you click on these macros, it's going to copy that macro into your clipboard. And all you need to do is paste it to edit the save location. So now it's going to use the default project folder, followed by the domain of the URL, which was a GameSpot in our example. So we should expect to see the project folder followed by GameSpot.com. At the bottom here, we have the file name string. So it's the same set of similar macros that you can use to affect the file name string. So we have a job name, we have a random number generator, we have a number, which is the sequential number counter, we have the URL, which is the default value for this file name string, and we can also use the title of the URSS feed item as the file name string. Under that, we have the page element selection. So each time an RSS feed item is found by SEO Content Machine Next, it's actually going to go and visit that website URL and try and extract all the content from that web page. So in this default setup, it's actually going to download everything inside the HTML tag, which effectively means you're downloading the entire HTML page uh, without any edits in them. If you only want the paragraph content, just type in P. If you know you want some images, you would enter a comma and then type in IMG. So this is a list of CSS HTML tags and you put each item after each one and you separate it using a comma. We are going to download P and image tags from each page. We can also select which tags we want to remove out of our final HTML download. By default, it's your script tag. If you don't want images, type in IMG and then remove it from your selection. I'm going to remove everything and leave it as a P paragraph tag. Now, because we're downloading HTML, each tag will also have its own attributes and it's going to download all your attributes. If you know that there's some attributes you don't need and you want to remove them to clean up the final HTML code, some common examples of ones you want to remove are the class attribute and the ID attribute. Next, we need to customize how the output of our content is and percentage content is our downloaded content. If we want the title of the page as well, we can add that in as a HTML1 tag. If you want a link back to the original article, this is your URL macro, which you can use. I'm going to leave that out. Once you've customized your output template, you have a regex find and replace tool. So what this will do is once it's downloaded all that content, place it into the article template, it runs a reg replace. So this is where you can find words and re either remove them or replace them with something else. And maybe in this example, if it finds the word game, it should replace it with the word ball. Maybe there's a word coupon. And if I put the bracket and then leave nothing afterwards, it's going to replace it with nothing, which means it's going to remove any instances of the word coupon in the HTML. Next, after it's done all the processing, you have the selection to remove and convert every HTML into normal plain text. If you decide you don't need any HTML, you can just uh, click on that to select the on. And what this does is removes all the HTML and just dumps out plain text. If then you realize that actually you want some very clean HTML, you can wrap those 
each individual line in another HTML tag. This is optional. And then finally, once all that downloading and processing has been done on the text, you can apply a article rewriter on top. So once all your settings have been input into the form and you're happy with the way it works, you can save it and then run the task later. Or in this example for you, I'm going to click on run so that we run the task immediately. Like always, once you click on the name of the task, it's going to open up the log at the bottom here. And the log is going to tell you what the task is doing. So it's going to tell you what RSS feed it's searching. It's going to tell you how many items it's found in that feed. Because we only selected 10, it's going to go through and download each feed and write it to our hard drive. And it's only going to do 10 items. Once it's finished doing and processing that feed, it's going to move on to the next one. Since we only have one feed, it's going to finish. And then the task has completed, as you can see in the status. Now to find the content on your hard drive, what you do is you would click on this green Explore RSS Articles button. So once you click on the green button, it's going to open up your file explorer. So you're going to see the articles folder. You're going to click on that. And then it's going to bring you to the location of your saved files. Because we selected the output folder to include the domain name, we need to click on the GameSpot folder. And it's going to bring us to our articles. As you can see, we use the URL. And in this example, each feed URL unfortunately ended with a bunch of numbers, which explains why our text files also end in a bunch of numbers. A quick way to fix this if you wanted to was to delete the URL and instead use the title. And then this way, each item saved on your hard drive will use a title instead of that number. Now this is not true for all RSS feeds. It just so happens that GameSpot, when they publish the URL, you can see that it does have a proper URL here. It just finishes with a random number. Now, if I click on each item in my hard drive, I can see the downloaded content. So this H1 tag is from our template. We selected the download P tags. So here we have all the paragraph content. Now, if you remember, and I'll go back to the task, we had remove attribute IDs, remove class from our HTML tags. So if you look carefully, you'll notice that inside of our paragraph tags, there are no class or ID attributes. However, if you go down to the link, which is this A tag here, it's save the href. So in this way, we can control the output of our HTML to provide very clean HTML content that we can use later. That rounds up the tutorial video for RSS scrapers. If you have any questions, there is a comment section in the video below, which you can feel free to ask. You can also reach me at any time using email. And the address is info at seocontentmachine.com.